So today we're going to install the Ring Smart Lighting Floodlight, which is wired. Okay, so we're going to do four of them today. Here's what they look like, and here's what you'll need. We're going to be needing your wire strippers, your flathead screwdriver, Phillips head. I've got, for safety, uh, a circuit breaker finder here with the transmitter that has a screw-in adapter for the uh, light bulb for the old fixture. Or if you already have the old fixture off, you can plug this device in to here and wire this up to the wires, you know, from these clip leads to the wires coming out of the house. For some of the more advanced people, they're gonna be doing uh, something like a Klein or Fluke uh, multimeter. So let's get started. So one of the first things we want to do is go ahead and unscrew the old light fixture. I already pulled out the little rubber plug and we're going to just unscrew this one single center screw. All right, well that was easy. So now that we've got this old light fixture off, let's go ahead and unbox the, uh, the ring floodlight. Now it's the moment we've been waiting for to unbox the ring floodlight. Let's go ahead and slip this cover off. All right, inside the box, we have our handy dandy instruction manual. Followed by the QR code. I'll go ahead and cover that up for security. But QR code there after you download the Ring app. If you feel like it'll scare people away, go ahead and install your ring sticker on your window. And miscellaneous. All right, so inside of here, like I said, I've installed this before. Uh, there are things like a little mini screwdriver uh, to help you out. I believe there are some wire nuts. So here is the screwdriver handle. You have both the flat head which is a standard to some people, and the Phillips head. Followed by a little mounting bracket for your four inch round box. Like I said, wire nuts. And then there's a variety of screws here. This uh, screw pack here will unfold to roughly 12 or 18 inches long. Uh, so you'll be needing to find the screw that works for your situation. Uh, in addition, here's a little handy dandy little hook that you can hang the light fixture from while you're actually wiring You know the light fixture itself All right, so let's clear this out of the way and get the actual fixture out of the box All right, so at this house here, I've went ahead and gone with the white to match your trim At another house I've done the black colored so there's the foam little weather seal, the white bracket, and of course the fixture itself. Now of course all those, uh, the light heads, they're adjustable. It's got four bright LEDs in each one. Okay. And the motion sensor. Now at my house with the black one, it's great because uh, I got the black light above the back side of my master bedroom at the gable end, which is the peak. And on the other side of my property, you know, my dogs are coming out of the back door, around the corner, and it's great because as soon as they clear that uh, covered patio, it immediately picks up. So I definitely like this product and have recommended it to many customers. All right, time to get wiring. All right, so now it's time to put up the first piece, which is your little metal bracket. On one side here, it says front. So I went ahead and got rid of the cheap, inappropriate drywall screws that the electrical company put in when they mounted this fixture about a, you know, the old fixture about a year or so ago. So now we're gonna use the provided screws in the package to go ahead and mount. So these screws here are fine thread, should be, uh, what is that, uh, 632 uh, screws. We're going to go ahead and put those at the furthest point out on this old workbox. Now, of course, the power is off at this time. 
but I still like to go ahead and put wire nuts on my wires so that's why I've got wire nuts on here all right now that's nice and secure I went ahead and pre-selected the screws in the package you'll know that there's uh, actually instead of a long clear plastic package there's actually individual packages now labeled you know A through H uh, A through F is the screws H is uh, some of the other little parts anyways one thing you'll notice between the mounting screws and the the mounting screws here being your typical you know whitish you know zinc colored and then there are stainless screws so if you know the difference in looks between the stainless being more I don't know yellowish darker silverish something like that maybe yellowish isn't the right thing but darker you'll see that F and H are stainless steel and the other ones are a lighter color with you know for all the mounting screws so this one screw here goes in the center which will mount the actual um, mounting plate to this plate here and then there are two more stainless steel screws that mount the fixture to this okay Double check that screw, okay. <clears throat> and it's a little bit adjustable, of course, you know. But anyways, we'll light up, I guess, maybe a little bit of uh, that part of the yard and, and that part. Well, we'll see later how that looks. On to the next one. <clears throat> 